Hello there, and welcome to this video. So what is trance mediumship? Trance mediumship is a state of uh, trance, a state of consciousness um, that a medium usually gets into in order to channel, to uh, go into a trance state, to allow another uh, consciousness, another spirit to come through and speak. Sometimes that is verbal trance. There are also different states of trance, such as uh, trance, trance uh, artwork. Um, but it's also a state of overshadowing. So often people, everyone has the ability to be a medium. Everyone has the ability to be a trance medium and beyond. It depends if you know you allow yourself to uh, explore this part of of your life, because everyone is connected to spirit. Everyone is connected to. God or the the source, Big G, whatever we call it. So trance mediums uh, work in many different ways. The usual trance that we we typically see is mediums that go into a trance-like state to enable their guide to speak through them. Sometimes uh, mediums have the ability um, to allow other people's guides to speak through them, or family members, or an, or an overshadowing as well. So most likely you've probably experienced this in your life. Perhaps you're working on a subject. Maybe it's say you are um, doing an art project or university or college or even when you're at school or it doesn't matter, even if you left school and you're working on something and suddenly you get an idea like, oh, where did that come from? Um, that can sometimes be an overshadowing. You get this influence or a very strong feeling that you are going into a trance-like state in order to do something. And in order to get into that trance-like state is something that you really enjoy. So if you love artwork, then paint, you know, and draw. And you probably find that sometimes if you are painting and drawing, you find like that you're not really there. Your mind is somewhere else. And then suddenly like, wow, where did this inspiration come from? Because although it is mostly your inspiration, your idea, you're allowing teachers to come through to show you how to weave and be more artistic and creative. So this isn't just for artwork and paper. Nowadays we have laptops and touch pads so there are creative uh, visual artists out there who are also doing other things that are being very creative. I know a number of very creative people who uh, use sort of like LED lighting involved in sort of artwork, uh, textiles, um, you know, uh, crystals etc and sometimes also to do with like organite I know some people who make org organite pendants and um, like little pyramids which is resin with uh, quartz in there which helps to put out negative ions in the atmosphere which is very good for us and they're very creative with it um, some technologies also have been uh, channeled it's no doubt that some big companies out there, perhaps like Tesla, wonder where the name Tesla came from. Perhaps this is a, a channeling in itself. But there, you know, trance mediumship is is very more popular than you realize. You have most likely um, done it yourself. If you're watching this video, most likely you've had some form of experience of trance. And in my many, many years of experience in mediumship, I've never experienced anything negative. Uh, for people who have been in trance, I've never seen anything terrifying, scary. It's usually always and always has been very positive, beautiful and loving. So trance mediumship is a state of mind, a state of trance, a state of consciousness that people get into where you allow your your physical mind, your, your current state of mind to focus on something physical. Um, so for example, a typical one is somebody who d does a lot of ironing. You know, they're busy away in their own thoughts and then suddenly you realize you have, um, you know, done some ironing and you, your mind has been somewhere else. It doesn't mean that a guide has come through and done that for you, the ironing, which would be nice. <laughs> but um, it, it goes to show that we are in and out of trance states all the time. Another popular one is uh, highway hypnosis, which is the repetition of, of lines on the motorway or the highway uh, on the road when you're driving a car and it's the consistent droning of the engine sound like which can be like a certain frequency as well as seeing the lines like doom, 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 and this is in training you and after a while most likely if you do drive or walk or cycle um, skateboard anything any form of transport that you are in control of you most likely find that you're not always present there's a part of you that just 
clicks out, you're somewhere else. And you know, you have guides with you all the time that are surrounding you and looking after you. And so there's gonna be states where you're gonna be dipping in and out where guides are 100% looking after you and sometimes taking control if that is your path of destiny in, in your spiritual path to uh, enlay, enable um, you know, very positive, beautiful spirits to come through and to um, take action. <laughs> and sometimes when you're ready, and mostly when you least expect it, then things can happen. So uh, thank you for watching and check out the next videos and I'll see you there.